Other than that, we do have the grappling hook, which is made with the following resources. And this allows you to use it pretty much for things like cliff sides or mountains. So if we just throw this over here, you can see obviously, even though it's on a mountain, it doesn't seem to take us there. But after you use it, it pretty much takes you there, and you do take full damage if you're not careful. It does have 120 durability though, so each time you right click, it'll use it, rather than being how often uh, the durability we need to turn by it um, winding itself back after you've gone to your destination. Now you could use this on mobs, but it's not exactly going to drag them like the um, fishing rod, however. So if we wanted to, we could try and get this spider, but it's not really going to do anything. Because it's just going to go for blocks instead of the mob itself. So it'll completely ignore the mob. So just get rid of them real quick. And we'll move on to the sleeping bag, which is made with two wool tarps. If we right click this, you can sleep on the go. You don't have it where it, I'm assuming, sets your spawn point. It just allows you to skip to the day. And it does have 250 durability, so be careful of how many times you use it. Next, we have the tent bag, made like so, which if you combine with a small or large tent, just using it on its own won't really do anything. So you'll want a crafting grid, which I'm not in creative, so that's fine. Uh, we'll just do this, and this, and just demo what happens with them. So you just combine it with the tent bag, and you can see an outline. So this will give you an idea of whether or not it can be placed in the world. Obviously if it's red, it means you can't, if it ends up being white, you can see that it can be placed in the world, or whatever type of wool colour, I assume, will appear here. So let's see, I don't know if you can rotate it either, I don't think so. Oh man, I need to find a actual appropriate space to put this without levelling the land, which doesn't seem likely. So, let's see, and removing flowers and such. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So, let's get some water, also level out this land a bit, is that not going to work out? So, yeah, you do need quite a bit of space before placing these, even if it is the small tent. So, just level all this out. Try again. Does it seem like it? Oops, there we go. There you go. So, now that's been placed, we actually try this in survival. We can see much better if it consumes it to place it out in the world. So, if we do that, you can see obviously it just removes it from the tent bag, not the other tent obviously. And you can just break these to then get it back in the bag. So you don't have to use a tool or anything, just break it and be fine. I don't think you have to use the tent bag either for it to appear back in. So we'll do this empty handed, you can see it goes back into the tent bag so you can reuse it. So yeah, if we wanted to with a large tent, so that we bind it to that rather than the small one, We'll see that it is much bigger, but obviously we don't have as much space. We can place this in. So we'll just move that and we'll see as a comparison. So like so, quite a bit bigger than the small one. So you can fit quite a few more beds, chests and other um, elements inside here. And obviously, you just break it like so, and we can pick it back up, and it'll be bound to that one instead of this one, where obviously it'll do that. So, most likely, when you're placing tents, it'll be just whichever one you break, it'll put it inside the bag. Um, I don't know if you could do this with multiple, I think. Yep, so you can, just as long as you have another bag on you. Other than that, besides these being used for the tent bag, you do have the rope bridges. So if we just get some posts and rope ladders, as well as some actual rope, we'll just place a rope post here, rope bridge post, and we'll put another one over here that's in line with it, another one that's 
also not, just to see if that's possible. You just use a rope from here to here, and it'll connect to make a rope bridge. Obviously you want to do this over an area that's not filled in with dirt, so we'll just do this another way. Make sure we'll break these just so we can see what we get back. So we don't seem to get the rope back, as far as I can tell, but you do get the posts, so that's something. So we'll just try something a bit more suitable for it. So we'll just do that. Don't think that's facing the right way though. Okay, so we'll do. Okay, so I'm going to want to do it on this angle, I guess. Unless it only faces this direction for some reason? Which would be quite strange. Okay, so it seems like that is the case. So we can't do much about that. So we're going to have to consider it while facing that direction. Uh, this will be a great test to see if we can do this though. So we'll just right click here, right click here, and it'll join it like that. Or if we want to do it more appropriately from here to here, right click that, and then right click up here, and you can see how it looks. Now, if we just go over this, it's trying to do sort of a ghost one, it seems. Uh, we can't unfortunately walk on this, it seems though, so I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because of the positioning of it, and it's just a ghost for certain reasons, but uh, yeah. So we'll try and put this a bit more proper so I can make it fit the exact direction it's supposed to. Just get some cobble here, put a bit of height to it. And like so. And we'll try walking on it, and it seems we can, it's just you have to be very careful when walking on it, so definitely possible. Other than that, we've got the rope ladder, made like so, and this pretty much I assume is something you just place and then can break. So it doesn't matter what height, as long as you place it, it's fine. Um, we'll do this in survival to see if it consumes ladders, and you can see that it does. So break it from the top, and you're good to go, but obviously it does use up ladders, and then you can break it and it goes straight back into your inventory, no problem. So quite handy for getting out of ravines. Next up we have the launchers, which obviously support many different carpet colours. And as you can see here, that's what it looks like. We put one next to each other, it does sort of fit in between in a way. And you can also sit the in these and obviously pretend to sort of admire the sky, or the campfire, or food, or certain other things, or we'll just have some type of outdoor furniture for decoration. And other than that, the rest just seems to be pretty much a bunch of other elements. So if we just went with, say, a small tent, for example, and a tent bag, oops, maybe combine it to bind the tent that we're after, we do this. Now, as far as I can tell, there's these other elements, such as the top, the top with a tent pole, as well as the sides. Now, my guess is, since you can't craft them, is that you dye them which I, by just right-clicking. So if we break these, you can see that we've now got our red tent in here, and in comparison to actually the sort of um, guide of sorts, you can see it. it's not too hard to tell the difference between them. But yeah, it seems to just use a die and it'll convert it to that. But uh, it is trying to go between any of the following elements of a tent pole to make up the following here, as well as any of the other coloured sides, top, and the tent pole connection there. So any of the ones inside, obviously, fitting the ones with that tent pole. Other than that, though, that seems to be it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. There is obviously a config, but I can't really tell what purpose it has, because I haven't found out on the wiki or otherwise, and there's obviously more on the wiki um, to find out as well. Oh, and there's also Howl and Wolves, I can't forget that just before I end off, which only happened to Howl during 16,000 and 21,000 at night, so if you happen to be lucky to hear those, that's also possible.